Dowditch, Dowditch, Dowditch. Dowditch. Well done, Rog. You can tell your joke now. That was the deal. I like jokes. <clears throat> there was this young lad, about four or five, milling about the house. He wanders into his parents' bedroom and catches his mum getting dressed. He points to her privates and says, What's that? She's like, Uh, that's my garage, son. That's my garage. Ah, oh, all right. And off he goes. Later in the day, he wanders into the bathroom and catches his old man having a wazzle. He points to his privates and says, What's that? Uh, that's my Land Rover, son. My Land Rover. Ah, oh, all right. And off he goes. During the night, there was a big storm, and the young lad gets scared and gets into bed with his mum and dad. Next morning comes along and the storm's finished. The old man says to the boy, Would you mind going back to your own bedroom? I'm hoping to park my Land Rover in your mum's garage. The lad replies, Too late, Dad, my mini's in there. Oh, God. I say, bit below the belt, old boy. You're a disgrace. Shall I tell them the one about the stable boy and the Pope? Nope, definitely not. No. He got cross. Roger. Right up him. Oh, God, no. Knob. Next round's on you, you filth. I say, where's Deborah got to? She's just nipped to the carsey. She'll be back in a minute. Oh, no, you don't. Oop, oh, oop, oh. Take that, you knob. All right, gentlemen. Oh, bravo. So, Williams, did we ever find out who was urinating in the post box? I say, it was the postman. He's actually urinated in every post box across the village. Dirty postman. We can't have that, Williams. Don't worry, Chief. He's been given a good thrashing and been relieved of his duties. Sounds like he's done enough relieving already. Yes, thank you, Roger. Knob. There were a lot of sheep on the road this morning. Looks like the gate was left open. Is Farmer Giles okay? He's not doing too well, actually. Don't tell me he's run himself over again. Run himself over? Yes, with his own tractor again. Run over by his own tractor? What a knob. I agree with you there, chap. Someone told me he lets the sheep drive the tractor. Good God. No wonder he keeps getting run over. What a knob. Total knob. An absolute knob. I say. He is in hospital. Nob. <laughs> Time for another round. Roger's buying this one after his filth. I'll get them, gentlemen. Pass the empties up, chaps. Tell them it's for Roger. I stashed some money behind the bar earlier. Where did you get some money from? Some idiot left his wallet on the bus this morning. What a knob. I lost my wallet on the bus this morning. Roger! I meant the train. You knob. Any news on the baker's brother, Williams? I say, the baker found him in the oven, cooked to a crisp. The drunken fool fell asleep in there. Hmm, that explains the odd flavour in my sandwiches the other day. Good God. They cooked him up in the oven? Not on purpose. The baker had no idea he was in there. I wouldn't worry. He was a total knob anyway. Sounds like he's had his last loaf. You knob. I don't think so, mate. <laughs> oh. Come here. Oh. <sighs> Take that, you knob. Here we go, gentlemen. Oh, to the baker's brother. Cheers. <laughs> ah. What a drunken knob. Drunken knobs. I say, <sighs> easy, chief. <sighs> drunken knobs. Drunken knobs. Ah! <laughs> Is he all right? What's up with the chief? Those drunken knobs ruined his prize marrow last night. He'd been growing it for weeks. I totally understand. Those drunken knobs ruined some of my rhododendrons the other day. Not the rhododendrons. Oh, don't worry. Those particular drunken knobs no longer have any knobs. Good God. They rather had it coming. Sorry about that. I'm all right now. But time for a drink. Cheers. Mm, mm, mm. Ah. 
I know a girl called Sarah Jane. What are you doing, you knob? I say, I love these. Start again, old boy. Oh, bravo! Sing along, Harold! I know a girl called Sarah Jane. I know a girl called Sarah Jane. She could have had any man. She could have had any man. Then over the hills comes Pistol Pete. Then over the hills comes Pistol Pete. Swinging 80 pounds of his meat. Swinging 80 pounds of his meat. He laid young Sarah on the grass. He laid young Sarah on the grass. He stuck his meat right up her ass. He stuck his meat right up her ass. Then young Sarah did a fart. Then young Sarah did a fart. Blew his balls eight miles apart. Blew his balls eight miles apart. So over the hills went Pistol Pete. So over the hills went Pistol Pete. All that was left was his shredded wheat. Oh, Very good, Rog. Brilliant. The vicar taught me that one. I'm not surprised. After hearing one of his sermons the other day, might have to start going to church, Rog. That sounds like a plane. I say, we should all go. His Sunday services are good. Last week he had a brawl with his choir boys. Well, that's settled. We're going to church in the morning. Drink up, everyone. Then we'll call it a night. Down the hatch. <coughs> ah. Thanks for a cracking night, everyone. I say, it's been an absolute corker. A most pleasant affair, gentlemen. Oh, bravo. A splendid end to the evening. Oh, God. You oh, okay, Rog? Oh, God, I shouldn't have had those kippers. Oh, oh, I say. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. I say, you filth. Williams, we're leaving. You better not do that at church tomorrow. You're a disgrace. Oh, God, my ass. You not. Oh, oh. <sighs> Around the floor, empty bottles. And